In this video I'm going to show you a bit more about the transparency setting, which uh, you can see um, the palette for transparency is over here in the essentials layout. We just click on that. It brings up the transparency palette. Uh, there's two main things to keep your eye on. Uh, there's the blending mode drop down menu, which I'll show you in a sec. And there's the opacity, which we selected before. And if you'll remember, um, if I click on my clipping mask, inside the clipping mask where we have the um, the texture we made that at 50% opacity so it's got this washed out look you can see it's 100% um, for the clipping mask but don't be deceived because if you go inside by double clicking and you can see we're inside the clipping mask and I click on that once oops I moved it it's got an opacity of 50 so I'm going to put that up for the moment to 100 and only make changes to the clipping mask directly so I'll just click back and back so there you go you can see we can't really see our line work um, here anymore now if you go to your layers palette you'll see the line work which is all this most of the line work here is on the new line work layer and is sitting in front or on top of the texture the clipping mask te texture uh, what I want to do is for this example show you how we can move the artwork in front of the um, uh, line work and still make the line work visible by using the transparency settings. So I'm going to drag that layer, remember click, hold, drag until we see the line inserting it above and you'll see immediately with 100% opacity and a normal transparency mode we can't see any of the line work behind. However if I click on the artwork so I've just got the clipping mask selected, which we can do. And I click on the transparency setting. And I drop down the normal, sorry, the blending mode uh, tab. We've got a few different options here. One of the most popular ones, and the one I use in architecture a hell of a lot, is the multiply. And what that does, I'll just click, is it basically adds up all the, um, um, it adds up all the uh, red, green, blue values underneath. So you can imagine, an easy way to explain this, apart from saying it multiplies all the graphics, um, is that it uh, makes the white transparent. So if I were to give it this a black background, you wouldn't be able to see anything because all the black would be shining through, which isn't what we'd want. So you have to choose a time and place, obviously. Um, and, and a real world example, if you're still finding it hard to grasp the concept, is imagine instead of printing something on paper, we printed it on glass. So you can still see the uh, picture that you've printed in all its uh, saturated, colorful glory, but you can see things going on behind it as well. Well, that's sort of what Multiply does to objects. So one more thing. If I drop down and go to Lighten, this is a trick. It lightens, uh, uses the, um, the graphic to lighten objects behind it. And given that we have black line work, it will uh, respond to the lighten. You'll see that makes it uh, look quite interesting, actually, like an etching. I'll just zoom out so you can see that. So using the transparency uh, tool, there's uh, quite a few different things we can um, do. And if we move down the opacity with the artwork selected, you can actually see, if I do it very slowly, how the line work fades from being black to white. Fun stuff.